Opening leads start the entire process of declare, play, and defense. In other words, the actual play of the cards after a contract has been established. And we will talk about establishing a contract in a couple of more playlists. It's playlist list four, I believe. And we'll take a look at exactly how to do that. And it's important because it will influence the card you use to lead and how you declare and how you defend because you're going to take inferences from what your opponents did or did not do during the auction as well as what your partner has said to you either by bidding or by keeping silent when he could have bid. In other words, passing or maybe making a double or redouble, all of which are part of a language system that you'll learn about in a little while. But all those things determine, to a certain extent, your opening lead and how you declare or defend. But initially, you don't need to know any of that. You just need to know some very basic things to get you started. And we'll start with the opening lead. And the best book I can tell you to get on the opening lead to get you started, and there's tons of them, but try Opening Leads by Michael Lawrence. Some basic leads are a suit that your partner has bid, especially if he has overcalled, and you'll learn about that when we get to the bidding. Another good lead is usually top of a sequence of cards like King Queen Jack or Ace King Queen. You can also lead the ace from ace-king. Whether you lead the ace or the king can be important, but for right now, don't worry about it, just lead the ace. If you are playing in a trump contract, you can also try leading a single card in a suit, which we call a singleton or a stiff. You could try leading a void, but I can tell you from experience that doesn't work. A couple of more good, fairly standard leads are fourth down from your longest and or strongest suit of at least four cards, obviously. So with king 10, 4, 3, you'd lead the 3. King 10, 4, 3, 2, you'd still lead the 3. It's especially useful against no trump contracts. And against suit contracts, sometimes you just can't find a good lead. And if that's the case, maybe you have three small cards in a suit, like three, four, five, lead the three. Six, seven, eight, lead the six. And it gets a little harder for your partner to figure out what you're doing, but if you've got a good partner, they'll work it out. Until you're more experienced, there are some things that you don't want to lead. Sometimes you don't want to do it even if you are experienced. The first is an unsupported ace. In other words, an ace that's not backed by a king. Um, even if the ace is by itself, a singleton, don't lead it. Don't lead out all your aces. That's true in both suit contacts, tracks, and in no trump. Just don't do it. Another thing you probably don't want to do is lead a suit that's been mentioned by your part, your opponent, including trumps. Really a bad idea to lead trumps except in very specific situations, and we don't even want to go into those now. So for right now, don't lead trumps. Don't lead doubletons, and don't lead unsupported aces. A doubleton is two cards in a suit. Um, some people think that they'll get a, a rough that way. You won't. Even sometimes, if you lead a singleton, your partner can't get in in time to give you a rough before the partner opponent pulls trump. So, just be careful. 